Replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and specify where its resultant line of action intersects the members measured in A. So we're going to replace these three forces with one force acting at one point on the beam, which will cause the same reactions here with the vertical, horizontal, and moment. So let's sum the forces in the x direction first, and that is going to be. Uh, this is a 3, 4, 5, so this is 60 here and 80 here. So we got uh, 60 plus 50 and then sine 30. And that equals 85. If we sum the forces in the y direction, we got 200 up, 80 down, plus 50 cosine 30, and that equals 163. And those are both pounds. Then if we sum the moments about A, we get 200 times 3, and that is causing positive rotation, minus 80, going down, negative, times 6, plus 50 cosine 30, times 9, which also causes positive. So that equals 510. So if we add these all together, we got 85 in the x, 63 in the y, going up. And that's going to be placed somewhere and here a distance x from a. Well the moment equals the force times the distance. So we're going to do 510 equals the force. In this case the horizontal force does nothing to cause moment because it acts through a. So all we need is the vertical force 163 times the distance x. And so x is equal to 313 and that would be feet. So a force of, three, of 163 at 313 from the edge will cause the same moment at A as these three forces.